Hi, my name is Kimberly Wallace. I'm owner and creator at The Chalk Trunk. And in this video, I have created a gingerbread man out of molding clay and incorporated him into four different projects. I hope you find this video inspiring and thanks for watching. For project one, I'm creating gingerbread men to be used in the other projects of this video. My supplies are the DAS molding clay, I have a gingerbread man cookie cutter and a small rolling pin. I also have this great silicone mat that I'm using to roll out the uh, molding clay. I recently purchased a couple of these mats and they've been great for my crafting needs. I usually lay down paper, but these mats are great because the paint wipes right off. You can peel off the hot glue. I'll leave a link in the description below. So here I've got my molding clay and I'm just going to roll it out. And it's probably, I roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick um, before I use the cookie cutter. Here I use the cookie cutter to start uh, creating my little gingerbread man. I don't use any kind of cornstarch or anything. It seemed to be working just fine. And I'll cut out about six or seven of them for my projects. Here I had moved my gingerbread men to wax paper so they could dry overnight. I also noticed on the cookie cutter there was a little bow cut out. And as you can see here, there's some little bows that I cut out. And I also had a cookie cutter that was in a star shape. And I cut out a few of those out of the molding clay for other projects. I'm going to paint my gingerbread men in the acrylic paint Americana Honey Brown. I've always used this color for my gingerbread men crafts. I just love the soft golden brown color. I'll paint the gingerbread men. It'll take a couple coats for coverage. And on the bows, I'm going to paint them red and green. To create the gingerbread man, I'm going to use white acrylic paint and a liner brush to create the frosting squiggles <laughs> on his arms and legs. And basically, I just load up my brush. I don't load it up too much. And I, I do a light hand because I don't want my lines too thick. And I just make these little squiggly lines on the, the legs and the arms and on the top of his head here. For the eyes, it's real simple. I use black acrylic paint here and the end of my paintbrush and I make two dots. 
I don't make them too far apart. I like them a little bit closer together, as you can see here. For the mouth, I'm just using a Sharpie fine line pen and I'll create a little half arch and a couple little dashes on each end for his smile. I'm attaching the bows with glue to the gingerbread man. Now, as I go along in my videos, you'll see that I've embellished my gingerbread man further, but these are the basic steps that I use to create a gingerbread man for my projects. They're very easy. You don't have to really do any more, but as I went along in my videos, I did embellish them with buttons and I added a few more dots here and there. You'll see. But I hope you enjoyed the process and maybe you can create your own gingerbread men. For project two, I have a thrifted cutting board. I always like to pick these up when I see them because they're great for the smaller projects. I'm going to start by base coating my project with Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint in fluff. I'll apply two coats and we'll move on to the next step. For the next step, I'm going to use blue painter's tape to create some red and white stripes on the cutting board. To create my stripes, I'm going to lay down the tape on one end and then I'm going to lay down another piece of tape as a spacer strip, apply another piece of tape and keep moving across the board using my spacer strip as my guide. Next, I'm using Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint in Barn Red to apply the red stripes on my project. After removing the blue tape, some of the white paint that I had used to base coat my project had lifted and I'm going around doing touch-ups here. That is nothing but the result of my paint not being totally dry before applying the tape. Here I'm making a horizontal line across the board. I'll do that above and below the stripes I created. For the next step, I'm going to be applying a stencil. This is a six by six stencil that I uh, purchased on Amazon and it came in a pack of 20 and it has the best designs and the sayings on them are great. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. Here I am going to use the words and I'm just going to stencil Gingerbread Baking Co. on the bottom of the board. I'm using blue painter's tape to secure the stencil and I'm also going to use the tape to block off some of the images above the words so I don't accidentally stencil into those images onto my board. 
To stencil the words, I'm using a JRV stencil brush and black acrylic paint. I love these stencil brushes. Um, the bristles are really soft and I've been using them for some time now. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. But basically I load the brush with black paint here and then I offload it on the paper towel because I don't want the paint to be too heavy. On the stencil, the words are um, very narrow and if your paint is too heavy, you're gonna be subject to some bleed through. So I try to offload as much paint as I can. Also, I'm using a dabbing technique to stencil the words. I find dabbing and offloading your brush too gives me a much cleaner line, especially with these smaller cut stencils. For the next step, I have these mini rolling pins I purchased online. They're great for ornaments. You can paint them up and embellish your projects with them, put little sayings on, on them. They're really cute. I believe they come in a pack of 10 or 20. I'm not sure, but I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, I'm just going to attach it to my board here with some tight bond, thick and quick. And I'm going to attach the gingerbread men also right above it on the stripes. For the final touch, I have a pre-made bow and I'm just going to hot glue it to the top where the handle is there and this will complete the project. Let me know in the comments what did you think of this creation. For project three, I have these rusty cheese graters and this is going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to decorate them up a little bit, and this would be a great kitchen item decor for the holidays. I have a couple greenery sprigs that I'll be cutting apart, and I'm basically trying to lay them flat against the cheese grater so my little gingerbread man will have something to attach to. I'm applying some hot glue to the greenery and it attaches real well to the cheese grater. Next, I'm adding red berries into the greenery. I'll just hot glue them here and there for that added color pop that I need. Next, I'm attaching the gingerbread man to the front of the greenery. And I thought I was about done, but in the end, I added a little sprig of greenery and pine cones on the handle and buttons to the gingerbread man. I think this upcycled cheese grater turned out so cute. What did you think of this project? Please let me know in your comments. For project four, I have this vintage flower sifter. I like to collect these flower sifters when I go out picking. They're great to put different florals in during the holidays and even in the springtime. They're a lot of fun to create with. I'm using a floral filler called Excelsior, and I'm just gonna place it on top of the screen inside the sifter as a barrier between my florals. I have a piece of a styrofoam round that I'm going to use and I'm going to cut it down with a serrated knife small enough to wedge in place inside the flower sifter. 
and I'll just use some hot glue to make sure it's secure. For the next step, I'm going to add some greenery sprigs with berries and I'll just add enough to make it look full. Here I have my pre-made gingerbread man and I'm going to glue a button to his bow and to be able to attach him to my greenery I have a pick that I saved from another project and I'm just going to hot glue that to the back of him. I'll add some hot glue to the bottom of the pick and insert him into the greenery and he's in place. Next I have another one of those mini rolling pins and I'm going to hot glue that in place just inside the front of the flower sifter. Next I'm going to hot glue a mini wire whisk. These I purchased off Amazon and I believe they came in a package of 10 or 12. I'll leave a link in the description. But I'll add that to the front opposite of the rolling pin and I'm also adding some cinnamon sticks just to decorate the greenery further. I like how the greenery is decorated and the flower sifter looks full. Now for just a few more touches, I'm going to add a ribbon uh, and hot glue it around the flower sifter. For the final touch, I'm going to add a wood tag and I'm going to paint it that Americana color honey brown. It's the same color that I used for the gingerbread men. And I'm going to use a Sharpie to add the words sugar and spice. I'm using a stylus to make little dots with black paint on my letters. I just feel like when you make those dots on your letters, it finishes it off. I'm using red and white baker's twine and I'll attach the tag to the rolling pin so it hangs in the front and this will complete my project. And here's the final look. I just love upcycling and creating with vintage items. What did you think of this project? Please let me know in the comments. For my fifth and final project, I'm going to create a sign and I wanted to point out, this is the other silicone mat that I purchased and I just love it. It's a great size and it's great for crafting. Uh, again, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. So for this sign, I'm going to stencil and embellish with my gingerbread men. I'm starting off by base coating the sign with Dixie Bell's chalk mineral paint in fluff. I'll apply two coats and we'll move on to the next step.
for this next step, I'll be using this stencil, Mrs. Claus Gingerbread Bakery, Always Fresh, Made with Love. It is so cute, and I purchased them off Amazon. They came in a pack of nine, and again, all of the stencils were great. The, the words, look at the cutout letters here, they were just neat. I'll leave a link in the description. And my vision here is to stencil my sign and use my gingerbread men cutouts to embellish the sign and add a little rolling pin. I think it's gonna be really cute. I'm just securing my stencil on the board with green frog tape so it doesn't shift. I'm going to be using a couple different paint colors for this project and I'm starting off with black. I'm taping over some words that I don't want my black paint to go into. Um, these words are very close together so taping over them really helps to stay within the lines. Here I'm starting off with Dixie Belle's chalk mineral paint in black. I'm also going to use Dixie Belle's Barn Red, and I have a pink acrylic color, and I'm not sure what the name is right off the bat, but I will leave that in my description also. You'll see me remove the tape, add the tape as I go along, and I'm just going to stencil all these words in a dabbing motion to get that clean, crisp line. Beautiful. I just love the way the stenciling turned out, and I really like the font on the wording. It just really stands out. So next, we're going to embellish the gingerbread man a little bit further before I attach it to the sign. The embellishments I'm using here, I ended up using on the previous gingerbread man in my other projects. I just went back and added the dots and things you'll see here. I'm using my JRV stencil brush to make little rosy cheeks using pink paint. Then I'll use a stylus to make a smaller size red dot using Dixie Belle's chalk mineral paint barn red. And those will go above and below the icing areas. And lastly, I'm just gonna add a little white dot in the cheeks just as a highlight. Now for the finishing, we're just going to add the gingerbread man and the rolling pin. I'm going to be using Tight Bonds Quick and Thick to glue them down.
And here's the final look. I just love how this one turned out. What did you think of this project? Also, if you would please consider, subscribe to my channel. I love to teach and inspire others, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.